In the last eight months, the real estate market has totally turned upside down. I mean, I remember back in the winter, like during the snowstorms, I was showing houses and by the time you would get to the house, you would get a call saying, hey, there's 10 offers on the place. And I remember telling the buyers this and you could just see their faces just, you know, totally discouraged, totally deflated and not sure if they're going to ever get a house. So I'm going to show you guys what was happening in the winter time. Uh, this is not just Mississauga. We're going to get into Mississauga in just a second. But look at all these, like these are the top five regions like Halton, Peel, Toronto, York and Durham. They make up majority of the market in the greater Toronto area. But look how, much, how many homes were selling over asking price, like 90% of homes in Peel, which includes Mississauga, Brampton, Caledon, they were selling over asking price. So pretty much you could put up anything and it was going to go like $100,000, $300,000 over asking, no home inspection, no financing, just it was crazy. It was insane. And, you know, when I was on the seller side, I looked like a hero because the house sold in two days, you know, even though I didn't have much to do with it. I know agents don't like admitting that, but <laughs> our jobs were very, very, very easy back then. I mean, they are still easy considering, you know, what we do, but um, I'm not going to get into that because I always get in trouble when I get into that kind of stuff. Um, but that has gone from 90%, like 90% of homes selling over asking price. And now it's down to 16%. Now, you might say like, well, hey, you know, there's still some home selling uh, over asking. Uh, well, there's two reasons. One is there are certain pockets of every single city has certain pockets of neighborhoods that are always in demand because hardly anything happens there. Hardly anything comes up for sale. So they will always withstand any market. So that's one. And number two, uh, the bigger possibility is you price anything low enough, you're going to get a bidding war going, you know, so in any market, price dictates anything. So you price anything low enough, you'll get a bidding war. Um, so pretty much every single market was right around the 80 to 90% mark was selling over asking. And now Peel at least has dropped to 16%. Now uh, let's get into the stats as uh, they just showed up on the Toronto Real Estate Board. November, you can see here, November was the slowest month of the year for Mississauga. And that is not good news, like I always say, because November, uh, is the beginning of winter. So winter is slow anyway. So which probably means December is going to be even slower than this unless something drastic happens, some drastic change happens. But the way it has been going since March, every single month the, the sales have been dropping. And November, like I said before, is 61% down compared to the peak of the market, which was in March, over a thousand sales. And keep in mind, this includes every type of house in Mississauga. So it went from 1059 to 409 in November. That's a drop of 61%. And now let's do a four year comparison because the last two years have been kind of all over the place. So sometimes you can't really get a good read on the market. So that's why I just wanted to include the last four years. Uh, these are average prices that I'm doing for now. <clears throat> so you can see here, for example, this is November of 2019 all the way up to November 2022. So this is November of each year. And um, <clears throat> by the way, this kind of stuff takes me a long time to prepare because um, um, it's all like stats gathering and stuff. So I had to go back every single year to do this. Uh, I don't mind putting in the work at all because you know I consider that my job. But if you guys do enjoy this kind of stuff, please uh, consider subscribing because uh, it does help the channel grow a lot. And I'm really, really appreciative. So a detached house back in 2019 was right around $1.1 million on average. Then it jumped up like <clears throat> $200,000 in one year, went up to 1.3. Then it jumped up $300,000 in one year and it went up to 1.62. And it went up even higher in the winter of 2022, which we'll get to in one second, but 1.6 uh, in November, 2021. And now it has dropped like, you know, almost like $200,000 compared to one year ago. Uh, they are creeping closer and closer every single month. These prices are creeping closer and closer to 2020 prices. And condos, for example, they are, they started at 511 in 2019 and they were at 506. Keep in mind, these are average prices, so they do tend to fluctuate a bit. Now they are selling for $600,000 on average. And that includes every single market of Mississauga. Now, uh, we're not done. Like I said, uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff, please subscribe because um, this is Sunday night. Uh, it's supposed to be our movie night with my you know, fiance, but uh, I'm trying to focus on this because I want to get this out there and I will upload this on Monday, but you could probably see from the darkness uh, it is uh, being recorded on a Sunday night. 
Okay, detached homes average prices, um, they were hitting almost $2 million mark, 1.96 in January. That was the peak of the market, if you can believe it, for prices. For number of sales, it was March, but for price, highest price, it was January. It went from 1.96 to 1.42. That is a drop of 27%. I'm going to get into median prices in one second. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys both so you guys can you know make up your own minds which way the market's going and how low it's gone. And um, yeah, it's 1.42. It's a little bit higher than what it was selling for last month. Um, but I, I don't think I would take that as the market, you know, turning around or bouncing back. I don't think that's the case. If it keeps going up every single month for maybe four or five months, then you can say, okay, yeah, the market has turned around. But right now it's down 27% compared to the peak of the market. Freehold townhouses, average price for a freehold townhouse is 1.05 it's also a little bit higher than what it was selling for last month and compared to the peak of the market which was february for this type of house it's down 18 percent so that's freehold townhouses in mississauga uh, condos condos make a huge huge portion of the market in uh, mississauga especially around the square one area so average condo right now is selling for six hundred thousand dollars and at the peak of the market they were selling around 736 so that's a drop of 18% in uh, average prices for condos in Mississauga. Now, if you guys want to see, like, um, you know, because some people say that, okay, well, you know what, uh, average prices and medium prices don't tell the whole story, but we want to know which price range is struggling, which price range is still doing okay. So th that's why I put this together. Um, also, it takes me a little bit of time to put this together, but I don't mind if it helps somebody. So I have no problem doing that. So the most popular price range has been since January. Uh, it has been five hundred thousand to a million dollars, probably because of the big condo market. So they have been the busiest uh, market. But right now, like you can see here at the peak of the market, they were closer to five hundred homes uh, sale uh, sold under one million dollars, and now it is right around the two hundred homes mark in November. Uh, the market from 1 million to 1.5 is in yellow and they peaked in March, but now it is selling right around 100 homes in that price range. The 2 million plus market, it has been struggling since I'd say about uh, June. So not many sales every single month. It has been going down a uh, little bit, a little bit of a bump compared to October, but not much. So if you own a house over $2 million, uh, it uh, more than likely it's going to sit on the market for a while. Um, you know, at the end of the day, obviously, it all depends on price. Now, if you guys were also interested in median prices, um, this is what's happening. Medium prices, uh, Mississauga detached homes are down 24%. They are selling right around $1.29 million, and that's a drop of 24%. Uh, freehold townhouses, median prices, uh, they are selling around the million dollar mark as they are at 1.05 and they were selling right around like almost 1.2 uh, well, yeah like 1.28 million dollars and that's a drop of 23 percent condos uh, medium prices for a condo in Mississauga um, average price I think was around the six hundred thousand dollar mark and medium prices they are at five hundred ninety thousand dollars that's a drop of 17 percent compared to the peak of the market which was in March in this case so that is my market update for Mississauga I have done updates for like um, I think Burlington Oakville um, and Brampton so far I will be getting to other cities as well uh, one by one uh, yeah I think that's about it I'll see you thanks bye